Hey, welcome back to another RC Wars video. Today we're talking about the necessity of using foot valves or check valves in a jet pump or a centrifugal pump or irrigation pump, whatever name you know it by. Uh, if you're dealing with a pump that's above ground, it's extremely important to make sure you've got a foot valve, which is what we've got here, or a check valve, which is what we've got here. And we'll talk about the different applications real quick. So a foot valve you would use if you're drawing water from a body of water, like a lake, a creek, what have you, because the foot valve has a screen on it so it's going to prevent materials that the pump can't handle or materials that are going to potentially cause damage to the pump from getting into it. Now of course taking this and just flopping it down in the creek bed you're going to suck up a lot of dirt, a lot of sand, that's not recommended. So. Um, maybe in a future video we'll work, we'll talk about some different methods to actually use a foot valve in a body of water to prevent getting a lot of sediment and stuff into your pumping system. Because if you're using it for irrigation, you plop it in the mud, you're going to plug up all your sprinkler heads and that's no fun. When it comes to a check valve, using a check valve in a, in a, with a jet pump, typically the only time you're going to use a check valve in place of a foot valve is if you've got extremely clear water. So that's going to be like your reservoir and cistern applications where you're drawing out of water that's already clean. So that's the two options. And the main reason that you got to do that is when you're dealing with when you're dealing with a jet pump, you have to keep the body of the pump, we've got a cut out here, the body of the pump full of water in order for the pump to actually get traction and start pumping. So what that check valve or foot valve does is it keeps the water in the pump and prevents it from being able to flow backwards out of the pump's intake and call, keeps the pump what they call primed and having a primed pump is the best and most surefire way to prevent anything running dry which can cause wear and tear. So you can see this white section here, this is known as a diffuser. That's just like a, a glass reinforced plastic material and this pump actually has a bronze impeller which oftentimes pumps have plastic impellers and so if you get in a situation where your pump's running dry, it's not fully primed, you can have impellers melt, you can have diffusers melt, you can generate a lot of heat and cause problems with pump failure. Um, so it's just not a good situation. So that's why having a check valve or a foot valve is extremely important on your jet pump system. So we just wanted to make that quick video for you today just to recap the importance of why you need a check valve or a foot valve. We get that question quite frequently. So. Now you have it. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video useful. We'll catch you next time.